happy Friday. It's Friday, April the 30th. Welcome back to another vlog. Okay, so this announcement time, announcement time. <laughs> we stopped the schedule program for a little announcement. So this will be the last vlog you guys see for probably about a month. I think I'm not gonna vlog all of May and start back vlogging in June. Um, I will vlog like here because it's like gonna be Mother's Day, Jalen's birthday, um, and all that kind of stuff. So I might have like a rewind vlog of where I do stuff here or there, but it will not be a regular vlog on those days. Um, not sure if I'm gonna put out any other content or not because I actually just need a break. So we shall see you guys. You know, when I'm not active on here, I'm more active probably on Instagram. So if you want to see what I'm up to. What I'm doing, follow me on my Instagram account, which will be down here somewhere or in the description box. Okay, so announcement over. Back to the regular schedule <laughs> vlog. So it is Friday, April the 30th. I am off. I did take off today because I needed it. I needed it. I needed it. This week was the longest week ever. Them people had lost their whole mind. I'm on such a short deadline for so many different things, and I'm just weary. Okay, I'm weary. <laughs> Um, hope you guys, if you guys didn't catch the live yesterday, y'all know I acted a fool on there. It was fun though. I like talking to you guys. So I did my IG live, which I do every Thursday on my Instagram. It's early in the morning because I have to be to work at 7.30. So it's like at 6.45 to like 7.30, 7.40. Sometimes I'd be late from wait, work talking to you guys. But yeah, I'm thinking about changing the time. So you guys let me know if I need to maybe do them some other time so you guys can all catch it i don't know what's a good time i don't know but just a suggestion suggest some times or whatever um but anyway so we got a full day ahead of us today um i took off anticipating that i could actually you know chill out but i'm always being too ambitious about that um, so I was up this morning super super early as usual. I think I the my alarm went off at four, but I didn't get up at four like I wanted to. I didn't get up until like I wanna say almost five o'clock, maybe four forty five, somewhere around there. So I got up, did my little Bible study, um, and prayer thing this morning. Um, I just dropped Jalen off at the bus stop and now we're gonna get ready to take the clothes out of the dryer that I'd washed Thursday, I think or Wednesday yeah, it's still in the dryer and I need to wash my sheets and then I need to clean my closet and clean my bathroom and then I'm gonna get ready for the day so yeah I'm gonna do all this like bootlegging -y. I'm right I wrote a list in my planner cuz baby my little brain can't hold no more so I need to write it down um so we have a lot to do today so today I need to go by the bank get my cash envelope money for May I need to drop off some books at the library and pick up a book that I had on hold um so I didn't make my goal of reading four books this month and I'm not even finished with the third book but I'm hoping tonight I can finish it and it'll still count I don't have that much left so I might force me some time tonight to finish this last little section so I can at least say I read three books in April um hopefully may go a little bit better um and then I need to um I transferred some money out of my PayPal account into my bank account. Um, and then what else am I doing? I need to pick up a package from the post office. I need to pay my water bill. And then also having lunch today with Alicia and Christina at 1130 at the Essential. So I will have to leave the house at 1030-ish or so. Maybe a little later since everybody will be at work already. Um, so I have to do that. So I need to get in gear because it's almost 7 and that gives me like three hours. Three hours is long enough. And then I gotta cook me some breakfast and stuff. I need to just eat a bagel because if I wait to cook breakfast, I'm gonna be too full to eat at 11.30. So I need to make me something simple right quick. Um, and then I have a full day tomorrow as well. My uncle, you guys know he passed away. He is having a street dedicated, him, dedicated to him or named after him tomorrow at 10 a.m. and then my great nephew birthday was April the 26th and he turned one so he's having his birthday tomorrow at one o'clock 
Um, and then I think that's all that's on. And then that's all on my list. And then Mari has his second COVID shot today. So while I'm downtown, you know, I'm going to text him and ask him, do you want me to meet him there? Is he okay? This is only his second time going to the new doctor's office. So I want to make sure he gets there, don't get lost, and actually gets his second COVID shot. You know, as mamas, we just have to be damn baby in these little 22-year-olds. You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, so I got to do all of that today. So I'm about to get into gear and go ahead and start putting these sheets in the laundry, get them ready, get my dark clothes out of the um dryer and put them here on the couch and then i'll probably clean my bathroom first and then clean my closet so yeah that's the game plan so i will check in with you guys Sinking deeper every day And lately I am missing my reflection And every muddy puddle on the pavement Driving every thought into distortion Getting ready, it's 10.20. I went and picked up my mail from the post office, paid my water bill. I'll show you my outfit in a minute. But I'm super excited. I got this package in from House of Stradivant, I think it's called. It's a black owned, like, she sells like stuff for your home and like some accessories. So I bought some stuff from her to go on my console table whenever he gets finished building it here in the room, so I'm just gonna open it up with you guys. I'm super excited, I've been waiting on it. Like a kid in a candy store. I was hoping that she would package up because it's a vase in here and I was like, please don't let my vase come broken because you know, you folks at these little post offices don't care, you guys, they don't care at all. So she packaged it up really well as you can see she had a lot of like tissue paper around it she has um this thing so the first thing i got were these alt altar hoops aren't they so pretty let me take them out of the package show you guys and i'll link her shop down below if you guys want to check her out look how cute these are Oh my goodness, you guys. I might have to put these on today. I think they'll go really good with my outfit. Aren't those cute? I got the copper. She has a silver version too. Um, but these are gorgeous. The product empowers women in India. So I'm assuming it was made in India. So aren't they freaking fabulous? I can't wait to wear those. I might throw them on today, y'all. I might not make it. And then I got the infamous wedding beads um thing let's see uh i'll tell you the prices too let's see okay so the earrings were 14 dollars. so these were 14 dollars. not bad and then the wooden garland you guys this wooden garland was 18 dollars. look how long it is that's a lot for 18 dollars. like you can go up into tj maxx and some of them other expensive places and they're way more than $18. And look how big it is. I can't wait to put this on my console table. And I want to say she hand makes these. But don't quote me on that. Don't quote me. Don't quote me, I said. But whatever, wherever she gets them from, they're gorgeous. But I don't think she said she hand made them. But I don't know. And then my last thing. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. I was hoping it was kind of big for my console table. Like, y'all, she packed it good. Do y'all see this? She made sure that it did not get broken. And I... So appreciate that. Okay, so let me get my knife. I thought I was done with my knife, but she don't wrap this bad boy up. Fantastic, do you hear me? She made sure that my stuff didn't get jacked up in the mail. And I appreciate you, girl. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God, this is gonna be so pretty. 
Oh my goodness. Look at this, you guys. This matches my room so well. Do you see? It's way bigger than I thought it was. I don't know why I thought it was little. It's hard to gauge when you see stuff on a website. And I do look at the measurements. But ask me, do I know what the fuck that mean half the time? No. But look at this. This is freaking gorgeous. This one looks so good on my console table. Let me see if I can give you guys like a a size reference there we go so that's like a size reference for it <gasps> that's so good because i wanted to put my um i know these probably are not gonna go i don't know if these are gonna look good in there or not but that's what i was thinking i wanted to put in there but you know it might not actually work out for my life but y'all can tell me what y'all think if that's something i can stick in there i can of course make the stems a little bit shorter or whatever's what y'all think i think it looks okay i do think i need to bend the stems a little bit so that, that it comes down a little bit more towards the um, rim but that's what i wanted to put in there Ooh, I'm so, excited. so so cute all right you guys so that is what i got in the mail today that i have been waiting for I think that's the only thing I'm ordering for my room and I want to figure out what I want to put above my console table if I want to do a picture or a mirror or um I don't know a picture of myself or an abstract picture of some sort I don't know what I want to do so yeah that's what I got to figure out very pleased with my purchase like I said, I had to go ahead and put them on. They're so freaking cute. I will link her shop down below if you want to check her out. Black owned business. So this is my outfit of the day. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw it. But this is what I have on today. So basically it's an all linen outfit. So I have on this white linen shirt that I got from H&M last year. And then I got these black linen pants. This year I love them. They're sort of like, they're not super wide leg, but... They're not super straight either. They're, they're like a, and I guess you would call them wide. I don't know. But anyway, so these are my black linen pants. And then I got on my Pumas because, you know, chic outfit. And then my, all of my necklace. These two necklaces are from Fearless Jewelry. This necklace Ashley gave me. Braces are from Fearless Jewelry. This ring is from Fearless Jewelry. <laughs> this ring, I don't remember where I got this from. This ring right here is from Pandora. The earrings are from House of Stradivant. These earrings are from my shop. And then I'm just carrying my black crossbody that's from my shop as well. Um, so yeah, unfortunately the black crossbody and the cognac crossbody are sold out. I don't have any more of those, but I still have the white uh, satchel purse available. I think I have two left. So hopefully by the time you guys see this, they're still available. But I am going to hop in the car and get my shit together and I will see you guys in the car. I completely forgot about you guys we were we had something to discuss at the little meeting so I completely forgot about you guys <laughs> so my bad but anyway we ate at the essential I had a burger with some fries and I had that good hibiscus tea y'all I think I got a clip of the inside I'll show you guys they had this cute tea cup mug situation that your girl is buying because it only cost $20 so <laughs> I shall be buying it. I know I'm obsessed with tea and all things that have to do with tea, but you know, can't have a, you can't have too much tea stuff. And um, so now I'm headed to meet my son. I told you he's getting a shot today, and of course he need help, child. He need he need all the help he can get. But I told him I would meet him there since I was already downtown. It wasn't like I was coming out of my way. 
Um, so I told him to meet me in the McDonald's parking lot and then I will help him get to where he needs to go. This is only his second time going there, but you know, gotta be a motherly and help the children and stuff. So after that, we'll just go home. Um, oh no, I can't go home. I need to go to the bank and I still need to go back to the library so he can go home. But I still have some errands to run. Um, but yeah, we had a really good lunch after we discussed some issues going on. But after that, lunch was fantabulous. Must I say so myself? Um, they had me taking some pictures that, of course, I'd be thinking I'd be looking silly. Uh, so yeah, um, that's what I'm doing. Lunch was so good. But every time we go to the Central, everything is always so good. I don't think I've ever had anything that wasn't good at the essential but the only thing about the essentials is they always changing their menu so like today they had nothing that that like pretty much nothing that we didn't have that they had last time they got rid of the brussels sprouts can you believe that really really why is brussels why can't you eat brussels sprouts in the spring and summer essentials i'm gonna need you to keep them brussels sprouts i'm gonna have to dm them and be like hey next time i come there i'm gonna need some brussels sprouts okay like i've been bragging about y'all brussels sprouts then y'all take them off the menu when everybody likes them like stop it even the waitress like she's like baby they change their menu every week <laughs> and maybe they do that because they're getting stuff that's like in season and a certain price and maybe they're trying to keep their prices down i don't know but even with them changing their menu all the time i like i said i've never gotten anything that i haven't liked so i guess i can't really be upset with them but i sure would have got some brussels sprouts back because them things would have been hitting you hear me hitting um so i'm glad i brought a book with me because i'm still trying to i gotta finish this book today or i will not have been read three books in april like i'm really slacking on my book game so i'm gonna have to go ahead and um get that together asp okay so yeah but i will talk to you guys later okay. all right you guys my son out of the doctor's office and so i am headed to the library and he's headed to the house to give Alicia something. I'm finna pass by her house. I'm gonna put it in her mailbox. I forgot I had that gift with her back there in the back. So I'm gonna get her that since I'm passing by her house anyway to go to the library that I want to go to. Yeah, because I have to go down. Somehow I get there from there, I think. How do I get there from there? Oh, I see. Oh, I know I can go over that thing, I think. Anyway, the GPS to tell me how to get there. Yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna go by the library first since it's 2:40, and then I'm gonna go by um, what's that place called? The bank. I need to go to the bank, and we're probably not gonna do pizza tonight because we have just spent so much money. And I'm like on my last little money in my cash envelopes. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna spend all of it up on some damn pizza, even though I don't feel like cooking. I really don't. I just. left and there's no money in any other category like I spent up all the money there's no more money <laughs> so I literally would have to be like breaking into but the kids don't know that I have a savings account for them so they both basically have $80 in the savings account because I put $20 in there every month for them so if I do want to you know get pizza or whatever I could use their money um, per se I really don't be wanting to use their money unless I have to. So, definitely not buying more, more groceries this month. So, we could, you know, technically use this money for pizza. What do you guys think I should do? I don't know. I feel like I should just say fuck it and order the pizza. Because that means I don't have to cook when I get home. Because I really don't want to. So, yeah, we're going to make a decision. Y'all know what I know. <laughs> All right, you guys. We are finished with all of our errands just came from the bank Domino's was right there so picked up the pizza and the bread stinks and the drink and now I'm headed home y'all people are so rude there was this guy coming out of the Domino's and he had like a stack of pizzas and he was on the phone and he was holding something so I held the door for him this little motherfucker didn't even say thank you that's why you have to be nice on your own accord because people just don't give a damn they just don't if I was trifling I should just 
closed door his ass. But anyway, folks, it's rude. That's why you don't do shit for other people. You just do it because out of the kindness of your heart. Because if you wait for a thank you, your ass most likely ain't going to get one. Well, now, most people say thank you. I think he was just distracted. But nonetheless, he know his ass didn't push that door open. Um, anyway, so I'm headed home. Mara didn't say whether he got home or not already. I'm assuming he did. I saw his sister came home because, you know, I get the notifications on the phone. So they must have came home at the same time because the alarm only went off once. And the front door indicator only went off once as well. So I'm assuming when he didn't go to the house, he just waited at the bus stop for her a minute ago. So, yeah. I didn't ask them what they little asses wanted today. We are on a budget, okay? So we're not spending $40 on pizza this Friday. We spent $20 something instead, okay? We gotta save a couple queens, okay? Save a few queenses. So we only got pizza, cinnamon sticks, and a soda. That is it. So we on a fucking <laughs> budget today. I've been balling the hell out in my bank account like a heifer. This is not what we agreed upon. You are reneging on your part of this agreement. So we're not balling out with the pieces that we got the, the three items for five nine nine a piece. So that's what we do. You guys, my book is in. So you guys know I love Robert Dugani. He writes the Tracy Cross White movie movies. The Tracy Cross White books. You guys heard me talk about them already. He just came out with a new one. So of course I was on the whole list and I got it. Somebody else came out with a book I'm on the whole list for it. John Sanford. Yeah, John Sanford, the Lucas Davenport books. Lucas Davenport got a new book coming out. It's, it might already be out, but I don't. Ha I have that one on hold as well. And then I just had this on hold, and they just told me it was ready today. So I most likely will pre. This will most likely be my first book in April, first or second book, because there's actually another book that I need to read before this, because it's gonna be due back soon. So I probably need to read that first. But oh, I can't wait. I love it. I think books there are of hers i don't know which number this is there's at least 10 or more it might be on the side of 15 or more but i'll put it across the screen which number in the series this is but she has quite a few books it might not even be 10 i might be tripping anyway if you haven't picked these up i highly highly recommend robert dugani if you love mystery books uh police detective type books y'all know that's my favorite so yeah but anywho i'm gonna listen to music on the way home all right, guys, I'm home. It's early. We're having an early movie night since I was off to work. Got pizza early. Got all our errands done. Mari got shot up. Yeah. I got done with school. And Jalen finished with school. And it's Friday, so we're watching. Without remorse, is not on here yet, so we're watching. What the shit was called? The last something, child. Some, one of a Disney movie. Something about some dragons and humanity. So it's a cartoon. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. So sorry, I fell asleep on you guys last night, so I did not close out the balls. You see, I still have my lashes on. Thank goodness I didn't wear any makeup yesterday because I probably fell asleep in that too. Anyway, it is currently, I think six something. It's currently 6.10. I woke up probably about five something. Um, So I got up and went to the restroom. That always wakes me up going to the restroom. <laughs> So I got up use the restroom and I got back in the bed and then I did my quick Bible study. Um, I'm doing the soap Bible study, so I just have it in my digital planner. And I made these inserts um to go in my digital planner. Um so go back to today's. Did that today's date? No, that's yesterday. So today is a busy day, like I said, so we're going to my uncle's dedication and then we're going to my great nephew's birthday party. My baba said, I told my baba to be here at 8.30 because we was going to leave early. Because I don't know what the situation is going to be like when we get to the dedication. Like, I don't know if we have to stand in line. I don't know if we're going to have anywhere to park. Like, I just don't okay, know. So I'm all dressed. I just redid my top knot. I'm not doing lashes, makeup, nothing today. It's going to be one of them days. This is what I have on for right now. Um, 
I did order a t-shirt for the event. It says my uncle's um, slogan was faith not fear. So we ordered black t-shirts with the gold writing because his high school colors are gold, white, and black, I believe. I went to a different high school, so I don't know. I think that's what they are. And so I just put on some black jeans and then I'm probably going to put on my Pumas or either the Jordans um, today. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I might put on my combat boots. I haven't decided. Um, so I just got finished talking to my aunt and she said we was going to meet over at my cousin's house at 930. So, yeah. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, um, since we have a little bit more time, because I told my mom to be here at 8.30, because I just didn't know. So I wanted everybody to be ready and good and ready to go. I'm not trying to be late or whatever. Um, so, since I have a little time, we're going to cook up some breakfast. Cook some French toast this morning um, for everybody to eat. Eat, don't eat. Like, don't like. I don't give a fuck. That's what I'm cooking. Um, so... You can tell I'm in like a shit mood as usual. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to clean up first. Because we still got pizza boxes and everything just looks a mess. It's a mess in here. So let me get my life. Right. 
just now making it home i told you guys it was gonna be a long day what's on my lip oh no it was gonna be a long day today i am tired so i am will not be back i to take off these clothes get in the shower put on my pajamas y'all saw the clips of what i did i didn't get too many clips because like i said it was just a long day and i didn't bring my camera because i just knew i was gonna be out and about so basically went to the dedication, stayed there for a couple hours. Then we went and visited their grandparents on their dad's side for a couple hours. And then we went over to the birthday party. And at the end of the day, I had to help my niece. So I was cooking, I grilled all the meat, like it was a lot, but I had so much fun. Our little grand nephew, he had such a great time. It was fun, but also tiring, so I'm about to lay down, so I will see you guys manana. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. It's definitely, definitely, definitely been a lazy Sunday. Y'all know I have been working. Y'all ain't even clean. Hold on. There we go. I have worked my patootie patootie off. Yesterday was a long, 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 long ass day. Okay, and I slept in for a couple hours. I did wake up. <clears throat> I always wake up without to use the restroom. But I did go back to sleep. And I got up this morning, like 8 o'clock. So I woke up, went back to sleep, got up at 8. Um, did my Bible study. And then the internet was still down from yesterday. So I ended up calling them. And I just had to reset my modem and then it works just fine now. Um, and then I did finally finish The Lion Game. I, it was not, not a good book. I think I just wasn't in the mood to be reading. I had a lot going on in April, so I just wasn't really in the mood to read. But it was a book. I gave it a four. And then my throat was sore last night. It's kind of scratchy this morning. You know, I'd be paranoid about, oh shit, did I get the COVID? But I don't have to go with y'all. I just got sore throat from this weather change. I know that's what it is. Because <clears throat> yesterday, I was outside. It was hot all day. And then I was going in and out of the house. And I really think that's just the different changes in temperature is what had my throat hurting. It got me kind of stuffy too. So, because you know, it'd be like 50 in the morning. And then we get out of work, it'd be like 70. You'd be burning up. So, that's never a good time. The difference in weather instead of being like, super level it'd be up and down that'll make you sicker but yeah that's what i'm doing so i will check in with you guys later <laughs> watching movies but I got up and finally made up my bed which is crazy because I'm about to get back in it and I'm gonna take a shower and stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog I know I don't think I got a lot of footage but it is what it is um so this is vlog number 20 of the year so I'm taking a little break I'm taking a little break I'll be back I'll be back but I think there's gonna be a renovation vlog after this one don't quote me on it I have one now if I take time to edit it it's a different story but it's coming. It's the bedroom. Um, I guess it's going to be the first renovation because I still have to do the trim and decorate and stuff. So the final reveal probably won't be for a minute because um, I really don't even know what I want to put on the wall. I want to get a new TV, but I got to figure out what kind of TV I want to get. It's a lot. So it might be just like a bedroom update, but it's not going to be completely finished for a minute. Um, because as I told you guys before, <clears throat> whatever I buy, I'm buying like... 30, 40 years, y'all gonna see the same shit on this wall. I am not one to keep changing decor every fucking year, month, week, whatever. If you can do it, more power to you. I can't do that shit. Once this shit go up on the wall, it up there, okay? I have to truly hate it for it not to stay up there, okay? So, deal with the ill.
Um, but seriously, yeah. so yeah, <clears throat> I'm coming down with like a little snuffly cold situation. So please pray that your girl be all right because she ain't got time for this shit, okay? So I'm about to get my happy ass in the bed. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I will see you guys sometime in the May, early June. Hope you guys have. What do I hope you guys have? Have a good time until the end? I don't know, child. <laughs> see you guys later. Y'all know I'm goofy. This is going to be a little bonus footage. Today's Jayla's birthday, but of course it's severe thunder, inclement weather. They send them home early from school, and as you can tell, I'm stopped up. I got a lot, a lot of sinus pressure right here, so they sent me home from work. They was like, go home, work from home. You can't come up here with the stiffles. So it seems like I'll probably be working from home for the rest of the week. Uh, they say you can't come up there with sniffles, because this shit ain't going away no time soon. I think we just have the sniffles, but they don't give a damn. I take your ass home. 419. 419. So I'll probably cook Jalen's favorite, which is tacos, since it is Tuesday. So we'll probably do Taco Tuesday for her birthday. So I'm gonna do that, and her brother's gonna pick her up. So when she comes through the door, we can sing her happy birthday. Oh, did I show y'all the cake? This is what the cake I got. We always get our paste from Publix because we love the vanilla and we love the buttercream. So I just got her with purple flowers and then the um, different color candles. It's a happy birthday, Jalen, on there, and that's what it looks like. So it's still cold because, of course, I got it a little while ago, but. When it thaws out, it's gonna be good. So that's the baby. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm making tacos. Okay. Mom, the people will give me a lot of things for my birthday. Did you? Happy birthday! Oh, my birthday. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Me happy birthday <laughs> and helping my mom's channel grow. Yeah, my mom's channel grow. So, got tacos. So glad of her. her favorite Tuesday. Your birthday's on a Tuesday. It's on Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Hey. Hey. Birthday Taco Tuesday. Hey. 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 Hey